Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're just stopping by for the first time. My name is Brenda, and this is the Mini Squad Goals Happy Planner. And this is what I use to track my weight loss journey. So um, it's been a couple weeks and since I've done one, so let's hop into it and I will explain. Um, I have not done an update for a couple weeks. Um, I seem to have hit a plateau and nothing was really happening and I was kind of getting, feeling kind of defeated and I just needed to step away from it. Um, I, I did not go crazy. I didn't go out and binge eat or eat a half a gallon of ice cream or anything. Um, but I wasn't as strict as what I have been. Um, I feel like stress was a component of why I hadn't lost and also it has been so horribly hot here in Ohio that I have not been able to get outside and walk like I have been. So um, I've walked some inside but it's just not the same. I don't enjoy it as much as walking outside. Um, I met a friend and we walked at the mall um, but it even get stuffy inside the mall and I just I just I don't know just didn't feel like it so but um, this is for the week of July 9th through the 15th and I use these really cute little stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and they are the Carpe Diem mini sticker set and there's like 568 stickers in here they're really cute. They're just the right size for this little mini planner. So I'm looking forward to using those. But let me zoom you in a little bit here. Um, on Monday the 9th, um, I had oatmeal for breakfast. For lunch, I had a six inch Subway sandwich. And for dinner, I had uh, chicken, a chicken breast and salad. I did get 7,425 steps in. Um, I'm actually surprised at how many steps I actually get in at work. I can get between three to 4,000, sometimes more, steps in at work. So that's helpful. Um, Tuesday the 10th, I had a breakfast bar. Uh, for lunch, I had a sausage patty on a bun. And then for dinner, I really wasn't hungry. I just had a protein shake. And I actually got in 68.94 steps on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday the 11th I had oatmeal for breakfast. For lunch I had a pork chop and scalloped potatoes. And then for dinner I had an Asian salad. And I got 5,738 steps in. Thursday uh, I had a protein bar. For lunch uh, I had pasta and a salad. came from Bravo. It was a pharmacy lunch. And then for dinner, I had a hamburger on a bun. And I think I had a little bit of potato salad too. I forgot to put that down. And I got 6,238 steps in. Friday for breakfast, I was up early, so I made um, toast, egg, and bacon for breakfast. For lunch, I had a chicken breast and a small salad. For dinner, um, my husband grilled out and we had hot dogs and potato salad and I got 7,428 steps in. Saturday, and I should be telling you that um, it is Tuesday of the following week when I'm filming this. And I normally do my updates on Saturday, but um, I had my grandkids. Uh, they spent the night Friday night. I had Emmy and AJ. Emmy's five and AJ is two. Um, they spent the night, so didn't have much time to film Saturday morning. You know how it is with a two-year-old. They are on the go constantly, so I didn't get to film. And then we had church on Sunday and a bunch of other stuff, and we actually had dinner with some of the kids on Sunday, so the weekend was kind of busy. Um, but for breakfast, I had oatmeal. For lunch, I had a pork chop and baked potato. And for dinner, I had a ham um, had hamburger helper. And I got 6,874 steps in. And normally I weigh myself on Saturday. So the outcome of taking a break, 
you guys know at my last update I had um, lost a total of 20 pounds. Well, I am just about the same, um, depending on the day. One morning I'm down like four tenths of a pound, the next day I'm up like half a pound. Um, so it's fluctuating back and forth. I know I really need to get back to my steps and really get my steps in because that's the magic formula, guys. You have to eat less and move more. And I just have not been getting my steps in like I was doing, and I know that that plays a huge part in it. Um, also stress. Uh, it was a c couple stressful weeks at work, and I know that when I am stressed, I tend to hold on to the pounds. So with those combination of things, with it being hot and me not being able to walk as much, um, and then the stress involved, the weight just has not been coming off. But I am happy that I am still maintaining my 20 pound weight loss. Um, I'm super proud of that. I, you know, I don't take that lightly. It's 20 pounds that I didn't have off at the beginning of the year. So, but I really want to lose more. I have a Myrtle Beach trip in September and I have my uh, planner cruise in October. And I really want to lose some more weight bet before those two events. So I am going to really buckle down and see how much I can lose before then. Um, I'm going to Myrtle Beach the weekend of Labor Day and then the planner cruise is like mid-October, but I'll be posting more about that later. So, um, for Saturday, I stayed the same. So, Sunday, um, got up, had coffee and my oatmeal for lunch. Um, we just stopped by Burger King real quick after church, and I just had a Whopper Jr. and a small fry, and then... Um, for dinner, I had chicken breast and salad, and I got 7,573 steps in. Now, this is the following week. I have not decorated the, this yet. Um, today is Tuesday the 17th. So I will be decorating this, and I will try to give you an update again on Saturday. So that is my um, updated weight loss journey. Um, if you guys, you know, are still interested in this, please be sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not um, a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, I do a weight loss journey update once a week, but I also do other plan with me videos. I do car chit chat videos. I do Dollar Tree hauls. Um, just a little bit of everything. So I would really love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Uh, I'm on a quest to reach that 1,000 subscriber mark, and I would love it if you guys would share my videos and help me get to 1,000 subscribers. So, um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Until then, God bless. Have a great week.